Hey, what's happening? Barnaby here, another Hello Life moment. This one having to do with allergies. Because did you know that when it comes to food allergies, it's a little different sometimes for kids versus adults? Joining us now to bear down on that point with the registered dietitian Jessica Butcher. So let's talk about kids first and allergies. Now, there certainly are some allergies that are more common in kids, and that would be like your, well, obviously, you know, the most severe in kids would be your peanuts and your tree nuts, but certainly in kids we see a lot more of the milk allergies, the soy, the wheat, the egg, and a lot of those, outside of the tree nuts and peanuts, the rest of those four, the kids normally grow out of those, so you don't see them very often in adults, though it is still possible, it's just less common. Alrighty, and so because they might be prone to allergic reaction with foods, thankfully there's been legislation put in place to protect the kids in schools. How do we uh, best describe that? That 504 plan, which we did talk about in another segment, so I encourage you to take a look at that if you do have an allergic child being sent off to school. But with children, it's really important to educate your children and let them know about their food allergy. And if they know what to be looking out for, maybe they become familiar and they always know certain brands that they cannot have or certain brands that are safe for them or they know that they can't have a peanut butter sandwich and that they maybe need a sunflower butter sandwich instead. Then there's, if you help to educate them, then they're going to know whether you're there to protect them or not. Okay, so let's now talk about the adults. Do they suffer from allergies that just won't go away? They certainly can, and especially with those, well, tree nuts and peanuts, I mean, those are lifelong allergies. Kids don't tend to grow out of those, so mm -hmm. they are going to be still very prevalent within adults. But the two most common allergies with adults are your fish and your shellfish. And shellfish are the most, very most common, so it affects up to 2% of American adults and only 1% or 0.01% of children. So that certainly is a drastic difference there. But those are the two that, of course, you know, not too many kids eat fish and shellfish. So you can see a little bit more why that might be more common in adults. But there are certainly differences there. And, you know, parent, or adults still can have milk allergies or soy allergies or egg, but they're just far less common. I think one of the big differences here is in the 504 world, the kids are fairly protected through much of their day at school, whereas adults, it's just a free-for-all out there. I mean, you've got to be ever vigilant if you've got food allergies. You certainly do. And if you're eating out especially, you need to ask a lot of questions to find out exactly what your food is being prepared with because let's say you have a, a tree nut allergy and you want to order a salad that has walnuts on it you know they might be back there they might oh there's an allergy out there they might just try to pick off those walnuts but even those trace amounts left in the salad could still cause that severe reaction so it's so important to make sure that you you can trust the people in the back of the house of that restaurant and talk with them and truly express how severe that food allergy is to make sure that they're taking all of the extra precaution necessary well and as you expressed in an earlier segment it takes only one fiftieth of a peanut yes. one fiftieth to really throw you into anaphylactic shock if you are food allergic to peanuts so uh, it's just it's a wild and woolly world out there but all the good information as always is right here on our website it is hellolife.net we have covered allergies from soup to nuts you can't be allergic to soup necessarily unless there's soy in there but that's a whole other thing you got to dive deep into the videos at hellolife.net because we've covered it all effectively for your edification just another hello life moment because we're all about matching your commitment to a healthy lifestyle